They have to own sick animals and so they have to get rid of proxies. So one in particular, Popsat Twin Pest Control. That's where it would be the owl. And the rodents, they hunt. Never hear them coming because owls, they are the monsters. Jordi is on stage. Right there, we have Latte on the main fish owl. And on this side, we have Soren, the barn owl. The very invention comes from the side of this track, right? And I'm trying to break out? Oh, uh, that is possible because all of them, they have very soft edges at the tip of the other feathers. And that helps to alter the air turbulence and even absorb the horns making the blood as silent as a whisper. And not only that, these birds, they have amazing eyesight. In fact, owls, they have binocular vision, just like us humans. And the colors of their eyes also tells us when they like to hunt. Now, owls with yellow eyes, they tend to hunt during the day. Owls with orange eyes, they like to hunt during sunrise and sunset. Lots of these are the black eyes. They tend to hunt at night. Now we got everyone that give our lovely owls. Lots of us are ready to walk on the floor. Thanks for joining us, guys. Now everyone, you have seen impressive flight maneuvers by Susie Nelson and even Zafaria. But did you know that some birds of prey prefer to take a stroll on the forest ground instead of flying. Now there are seven mistakes ready for our next predator to be back. He looks like a falcon with sharp beaks and talons, but he also behaves like a vulture and sometimes speak on an area. Right, so if you're all set and ready, ladies and gentlemen, from South and Central America, say hello to the world of the South and Crest Bay, Baraka. Now this is an unusual bird of prey that uses small legs and sharp claws to forage through the forest ground in search of food. So here it nests and even steals food from other beds. Right now, Rob is very busy. Around, you're supposed to showcase your foraging behavior, okay? Right over there, come on now. There you go, using his beak even to always send the tree up in search of insects. Now, if the insects were to take off and fly away, so the first that are able to make multiple flights into the air to catch them, just like this. Uh, yeah, I was not very impressive. Not impressive. Here are. Let's try it! Oh, there you go! Well done! You know what, Daria? I don't hear that loud of applause. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, Raul, you can uh, come right over here. Slowly, slowly. Look at that. Okay, everyone, watch this. And Akira! 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 Let's give Rob a big hand, I'm starting to press the car. Like I mentioned, these birds, they would sometimes speak on carrying, but they are not strong enough to rip apart tough skin of the Dutch carpets like the one like in there. So, they would need the help of bigger bird friends. Now, friends like vultures. The vultures are one of the most commonly misunderstood birds around the world. So when you watch TV, these birds are often portrayed as evil. With ominous music circling around in the skies with a sense of impending. Well, we are here to tell you the real story. Vultures, they use columns of air to fly and glide as they search for dead animals using their sense of sight and smell. The vultures, they prevent the spread of diseases. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Zena, our turkey vulture. Now these birds are commonly found in the Americas and they are one of the few birds with a finely tuned sense of smell. So this means that the turkey vultures are usually the first to the scene 
Norway carpet. Now other vouchers would follow suit, but the other vouchers would be doing the hard work of ripping apart the tough skin of the dead animal. Now another fun fact about such vouchers is that they have really acidic stomach acid. Right? That is a synthetic that's car bellies and that helps them to digest carrion very well. But I can see now you guys have a wonderful job, am I right? There we go, and time to eat the special. And that's Cena of Turkey Vulture. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have met a vulture from the Americas. Right now, we are going to meet one from Asia. Now, in fact, this bird was rescued right here in Singapore. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hold on. And you the mighty Genghis of Himalayan Perfect Motion. So allow me to share a story about Genghis with all of you. Back in 2005, a young Himalayan Perfect Motion was on its migratory journey from the Tibetan Plateau all the way to Thailand. But unfortunately, she got lost and ended up right here in Singapore in Orchard Road. But his bed was too weak and exhausted to carry on with his journey. So we nursed him back to great health right here in Singapore. Unfortunately, Gengen suffered an injury which prevented him from being released back into the wild. So he is now a very special member of our raptor family. And he definitely lived up in the day. 